<laughs> hey, it's Scott and Bart with the Scotch Test Dummies. We got us a new Balvany. It's the Pete Week, baby. It's a 14-year-old. Let's test it. Test it! Bog style. Bog style. Ooh. All right. Balvini. <laughs> Yeah, Pete for a Week. long time. Now I still hear it both ways, Balvini, and we get corrected and say it's not Balvini, it's Balvini. Balvini. I think it's Balvini. We need an actual well, someone we'll have from to, the distillery. Yeah, we'll have to go meet them and get an a ambassador tour. tell us the correct pronunciation. Right. We've had other. They're so nice though. We've had different distilleries say, "Oh, that's fine. That's fine." Okay, you know whatever. So, um, look at so that. our Scotch God shout out. Mm. We've had a couple of comments about our. A few merchandising efforts. <laughs> we apologize. We don't mean to offend anybody. Well, I'm now generally we 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 have what we do is we we sell merchandise that helps support the show. Right. We usually save the sales pitch to the end of the video. We've gone through, reviewed the whiskey, done this and that. Then at the end, the very last two minutes, we talk about we'll pitch something. We're not going to even talk about it this time, but yeah, we pitch something. We talk about Patreon. Speaking of that, the word the coins. That's part of the merchandise. No merchandise this episode. We usually have a numbered coin. So we're not even using our glasses that are available uh, at scotchtestdummies.com. Right. This is a Rito glass. I got a Scotch Trooper glass. Our glasses, though, are at Scotch Test Dummies. No, no logos. Right. There's no... I sometimes don't wear one anyway, and you're not wearing one of the shirts. Uh -huh. You can get those shirts no. on our merch site. Uh, you can't. Oh, never mind. But you can. <laughs> now, this dropper... We're not even going to talk about it, but mm -hmm. this is one of the droppers you can even get on there. Nope. No need to go into it. Pour me some Balvany 14-year peat week into it. my Scotch Trooper. Blue yes, Karen. mine is into the non-labeled Riedel glass. I did just pick this up. Uh, first time I'd seen it locally. They've done this for a while. This is the first time I've ever seen the peat week show up here. Yeah, I've never, I'm have never. i with you. I've never seen it, period. Hear about it. Mm -hmm. Covetous. Mm -hmm. Never seen it. Huh. Had like a citrus open and then the peat, like a medium peat smoke all the way through. I almost think it's peat on the forefront. Heavy peat. So what happens though, Balvany, when when you peat barley, it creates, it's, it's smoking it and it creates this peat smoke that this whole surrounding area enjoys. Right. Some enjoy Known it. as blissful joy. <laughs> blissful Balvin, joyishness. Balvany doesn't peat their whiskeys. Except. One week a year. Beautiful. They week. fire up the peat smokers. It's a nice week. And make peated whiskey for one week a year. Gen genius. This is actually 2003 vintage, so it's a 14-year-old, mm. uh, and it's bottled like at 48.3% 48, ABV. Nice. Nice. Now you made a comment last night, and I haven't said anything because uh -oh. I wanted to wait till we got into it. Mm. But Pete, to me, Pete on the forefront, on the nose, and there is a, a sweetness. I don't get the the Balvenie honeys and stuff mm. like that though. That's usually present. You get a hint of the citrus though. Just a sweetness. I can't even say it's a citrus sweetness. Mm. See, I get a, a sweet tartiness along with the peat. Layered in there. I'm calling it a medium just because it's not like a smoke punch in the face. Although you can't miss it. You can't miss the peat. So what were you going to comment on? You said you almost did, but you did. Was this? I will before we're done. Oh. By the I just way, wanted to get into the tasting. I know it's verboten now, but we were going to talk about our new rocks class. Is that nope, out? That's out. We, we can't, can't do no that. No merchandise. It's got the whole Android on it. We do have a Patreon. We are going to do a Patreon shout out at the end. I don't know if we're allowed. Yeah. <laughs> For this one. <laughs> this is so rich on the palate. Mm. Surprising, Pete. Mm. Balvenie notes, the honeys, the sweetness, the citrus is there. Mm. A pleasant hint toward like the ashtray smoke. On the finish, warm, tobacco-ish. Mm. 
light, mm -hmm. dry. Hmm. Yeah, I like that finish. I like that uh, ashy tobacco-y finish. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Pipe tobacco. Mm -hmm. Leather. Now, I made a post. I opened this last night before we went live. I was tasting. I did the Instagram post, and I likened it more to like the Lagavulin Eight Year on the on the peat side. I was expecting because we've had the Balvany peated cask, right? Which has a hint of peat. Yeah, so that's kind of what I was wondering. Ninety-eight percent Balvany, two percent peat, and I was expecting the same here. Mm. And it's, mm. this is, to me, it's definitely, it's peat forward. Yeah. There's considerably more peat than, than the Balvenie peated cask. The old, it was a, I think it was a 17 year, Lock. if you've had it. it well, it's exactly. Which was your comment when right. we were live. You said something about mm -hmm. the Balvenie is, it's just got a slight peat to it. Right. And I was thinking, no, not this. Right. What I did though, I pulled out the Lagavulin 8 and went side by side. They are very similar, but more rich sweetness hmm. with this, which would be expected with the Balvenie and a 14 year old. That's what I was going to say, the 14. Being 14 years in the cask, it's really held on to that peat. Mm -hmm. I actually thought the peat was going to be, again, subtle because of the age. This is beautiful. How much? I got to know. Well, we got to score it. We got to mm, finish I tasting it. I got to know right now. <laughs> You'll probably go buy a bottle. Oh, and there's more. On, there's a couple more on the shelf. Yeah, I got to know in the minute right now. How much? To me, there's... 48.3%. It's 90 bucks. That's good. For a 14 year, that's a little oh, pricey. Oh. Uh, for the special edition coming out of Balvany from the Pete Week, something not traditionally Balvany. Mm -hmm. I think it's exceptionally done. Mm -hmm. The Pete is there. Those, those Balvany notes are there on the back end of it, though. It's definitely the reverse of what I was expecting. Yeah. A lot more heavily peated than I thought we were going to walk into. If you want to, if you want to do that, do you want to look at it next to the Log of Ulan Eight just so you can see the similarities, but yet the differences? Do you have one opened up? I can while I'm, while I'm finding that, let me just—I'm not going to say anything about it. Uh, no. What? 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 It's right here. I see it's it. It's a red. It's, open. it's a red cup. Oh, Oops. blaster down, blaster down. Look at that. I did not this last night, so I don't. Whiskey Scouts glass. You could. To me, it was the could pour it was, it into this. It was more the peat that made me think log of I mean, how much peat is there? It, remind, it just reminded. And actually, I said compared it to the log of Ulan eight or the twelve year, somewhere in that range. The twelve year log of Ulan bringing a little bit more ABV. Hmm. Wow. I'd say the peat's stronger in this Balvenie you think than so? in the AEL. Yeah. I get yeah. a little bit more that <clears throat> peat flashes more at the end for me on this one. A little bit more vanillas. Honey's here. More of a dry smoke versus the tobacco smoke. Let me see. I know, and just not near as much of the sweetness. Those, mm, those right. Balvenie notes that are coming on the right. back end here, that rich honey. Wow. The rich sugar that's phenomenal is not present in the log of the Gotta get it. <laughs> yep. That is good. That is mm. good. Is this is this Auburn? Yeah. Mm. That's good. Yeah. Mm. Um score it. Oh, we talked about we I gave you the price, 90 bucks. I think it's worth it. And I would I don't have 90 bucks right now, but I would love to have a second bottle of this on the shelf. Maybe, maybe that happens. Mm. Dang, that is good. <laughs> this is very good. You haven't written or I haven't seen it yet. Nine three, nine three, loving it. Loving it. Ninety-two. That you know what they need to do? They need to have what's called peak month. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Skip the week. Go full month. Full month because that's unbelievably good. Wow. It is like I mentioned, it's the reverse of what I expected. Mm -hmm. Having had the 17-year peated cask, 
Right. Well, I want you to pick up a clod of peat and hit me with it repeatedly. <laughs> yeah. And that's what's going on here. Hit me it, with it. And then like right when I'm about ready to curse you, you're like, honeycomb. You shove a little honeycomb in. I'm like, oh, that's not bad. And then you hit me with some more peat. And then you bang it over the head. And then you're like, mm, mm. vanilla extract. I'm like, God dang, that's yeah. good too. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I want. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when I had it, though, I immediately thought, okay, Lagavulin 12 here, Ooh. which had the vanillas, you know, the pea, vanillas, citrus, sugars. You're talking they're limited, the Lagavulin limited yeah. 12? Yeah. yeah. Wow, the 2016? Yeah, and I thought, you know, to oh, the, between the kind of between the 8-year and the 12-year there. This somewhere would have held range. its own during a 16 it, bottle shootout. Yeah, very well could have. It, yeah. it would have. I'm not sure where it would have finished, but it would have held its own. Well, and then wow. I, and then I should have gave it to you blind, but I'd already told you. Or showed, I sent you a picture when I bought it. I was like, well, when we do something blind, mm. I don't want him to have any clue or any hint of what I might have. Because he's, we'd be thinking, okay, well, I know you bought this, you bought this, so we don't I tell each other. I don't go that far. I'd be like, I don't know what you told me last week. Oh yeah, he would like, What the hell? I told you, you should have figured it out. No, I don't remember. I think I blind, remember. you would have been very surprised. Oh, you would have never yeah. guessed. I would have been like, "This is a, a, what kind of Ardbeg is this?" Yeah, you'd have been <laughs> guessing, you know, Lafroy, Ardbeg, something, a new Compass mm -hmm. box, maybe that you don't know Smoke about. Head. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Um, traveling wow. dummy. Did we pull up a traveling mm -hmm. dummy? Mm. We did All not I because know, I'm thinking about. I need to make a phone call <laughs> and say, "Pull one of them off the shelf." They do have. I haven't tried to decipher. I mean, Ooh. they show the levels of peat on here. And the mm. difference between Isla peat and Highland peat. And that's what I want to learn to. I don't know that I can tell the difference. I want to work on that and try to see if I can tell the difference between an Isla peat and a Highland peat. Or even just a different region other than Isla peat. Um, they do have a whole graph on here. And I haven't tried to decipher it yet. They got the months, the years, and the dates. And then there's highlighted stuff in there. Highlighted stuff is in yeah. there. That's good. Hold on before. And we it says start. only one week every year is dedicated to distilling with heavily peated barley. Once again, that's my only complaint. I'm complaining <laughs> about it being just a week. A four week or a month long process. Uh, our Scotch God shout out or our, our Patreon shout out. This is taking our taking over our traveling dummy yes. this month as well because this is a new twenty dollar Patreon supporter. Mom told me I had to put on that section on there. Yes. Yeah, she was like, don't sell yourself short. So. Well, we have the $1 section, the $2 section, $3 right. section, and then the Super Scotch God. We have one other yeah. $20 yeah. Yeah. Uh, supporter, King Anonymous. King Anonymous. King Anonymous now has company with Jeff Lewis. Jeff Lewis! Jeff Lewis! Yes! No warning for Raster. Jeff Lewis, way to go. Yes. Yeah, so uh, he came on, and then you can set a min-max, so you can... You can add more than that. We don't get into what everybody adds in there or not. But yeah, there's a uh, photo that uh, Boom is throwing up right now. Do you have the photo on uh, your deal? Oh, we I do like have to comment. Uh, yes. I like to comment. I forgot about, about the photo. Yeah. I like to, to reference small, obscure we things. Need it. Small, obscure things I will Since. reference in the background. So you're saying I can't even talk about how we've got our can't. dish no, and glasses. No merchandise. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even mention it. I can't flash it on the screen to fill time there is. and to make it hopefully somewhat humorous at the same time. Oh, oh you know yeah. what? I forgot about it. Oh, Jeff Lewis. I had not. I had not. Is also the one who bought the well-crafted blue painter's tape. How-to video. Lynn Karen. It's worth your 14 minutes of viewing time to strap it. Double strap. We have a picture of Jeff and his wife wow. at the Temple Bar in <laughs> Dublin, Ireland. Wow. It's up there. You're looking at it. That is cool. It's got a nice red facade with a big old barrel out front with Jameson's next to it. And I like the yellow flowers. That's a nice touch. I like the red face and the, just that the, is nice. the whiskey. It jumps they out got the Jameson you. barrel sitting out there. Yeah, a lot of stickers on windows. I don't know. That one's throwing me. What's, Jeff, what's the shirt? Jeff, thank you very much. What's the shirt? Kansas City Royals. Ooh, look at that. Yep. Ooh. So thank you. Do thank not you. check out scotchtestdummies.com for any of our merchandise. Yeah, you don't want to go look at it. You don't want to go. You don't want to go to Patreon and search up Scotch Test Dummies. You don't want to look at that. Nope. There's nothing to look at there. <laughs> what else? You don't want. Did to we say is it worth it? Property. It is. Oh, it is. If we did. Very, very. Oh yeah, much. because I said I, I don't have ninety dollars right now. Right. If I did, I'd go buy another bottle. <laughs> Maybe I'll find it. I'll have to look. It's nice. 
It is very, very nice. Scott literally turned his shirt inside out. This normally has mm -hmm. a stamp on it. Nope. <laughs> Scott's just a dummy stamp. Now I, I can see the tags in the back. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Your shirt get dirty? You just turned mm. it inside out? Is that what you did? Should we scotch it? A scotch it. Scotch it. You scotch gods. Scotch it. Dummies. Dummies.